Hello friends, so far I have covered videos from uh, uh, Mikhail Tal, Bobby Fisher, Vishwanathan Anand. So today I thought to come up uh, uh, to come up with a video of another legendary uh, chess player whose name is Jose Raul Capablanca. Um, this game uh, he has played against A Chase in 1922. Uh, where he has uh, sacrificed his queen and on just on the move number 10 for just two minor pieces and he created a, a beautiful attack from the king's side of the of the board so let's uh, start with the game uh, he was playing with white and he started with the game with e4 uh, e5 f4 uh, so that's f4 constitutes king's gambit and the idea behind king's gambit is if black accepted it then uh, uh, white is going to launch a very beautiful attack onto the uh, black's king side so friends in this game uh, h is accepted the king's gambit and he has captured the pawn at f4 so from this position um, Knight to f3 is the main move, uh, but before continuing with the game, I will show you um, how exactly you can play or defend against the king's gambit. So here the main move is uh, knight to f3, and if black tries to hold on to this uh, uh, this pawn, and say for example is play, he plays g5, then that will be a nightmare for the for the for the black because then you can play h4 and of course you usually uh, black players try to uh, push the pawn to g4 and try to attack onto this knight the knight can go onto g5 and here uh, the black usually most pl black players try to again attack onto this knight by playing h6 and they thought that okay they have won th they have won the knight say for example uh, because all those um, uh, sorry all those um, squares are blocked so knight but that's the entire point of the king's gambit here knight goes to uh, f7 pawn and attack and fork queen and the rook so black has no other option to capture the 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 knight uh, with the king but then it comes uh, uh, the attack so now there are all sorts of options available the bishop can go at start an attack from c4 queen can launch an attack from g4 and uh, black's position is really cram crumbled here from uh, so let's go back to the game so in the game queen to f3 was played and then knight to c6 uh, and uh, knight is trying wanted to come on uh, d4 where it will attack on the queen and the uh, and the c2 pawn so c3 is more or less forced with c3 capablanca is also planning uh, d4 so but here knight to f6 and then d4 was played and now d5 uh, so there's no point capturing uh, the pawn at d5 because they're already is been defended by the uh, by the knight and the queen so capablanca pushed the pawn and played e5 and now uh, the knight goes to e4 so um, a chase thought that's a very uh, good outpost for the knight and it's very active and it's right into the center of the uh, of the white's de uh, defense uh, but here Capablanca played bishop takes f4 but now uh, g5 from the uh, from the black and he's trying to attack onto this bishop and the next move is also coming as uh, uh, um, is g5 but uh, so bishop moved to uh, e3 and now h5 so why h5 guys pause the video and try to find the logic behind the f5 move so if you see bishop now bishop to g4 is coming and this queen will be trapped see if uh, so and this is what exactly happened and knight to d2 was played uh, and that's 
that's very very calculated uh, uh, right so this not played by the fluke here at this position a chase seems very very happy that he is he is won the queen so knight to uh, bish, uh, here, bishop to g4 was played and um, even at at the time of the match few other people uh, have questioned uh, capabilanka that is ha have you calculated something behind this move and the only reply was wait and watch so guys wait and watch here as well so here the black played first knight to e4 and has given up his queen so uh, black has captured bishop takes the queen bishop bishop takes f3 and now uh, knight to f6 check so the best uh, at this position for black is to capture uh, the knight with the with the queen and give up his queen as a, but so uh, but at this position yeah, the white will capture the queen with e takes f6 and then you can retreat the bishop and so while retreating the bishop black will also capture the pawn at g5 uh, but so from this position capablanca will be a, a pawn up which means it's completely winning for him but anyways let's go back to the game here uh, king to e7 was played and that's i think the biggest mistake of the match uh, here um, capablanca has captured the the bishop at f3 so black bishop to h6 was played and uh, here kp blanca has uh, captured the pawn at g5 now since this knight was already defended by the bishop so bishop moved to uh, g7 and now bishop to d3 so another attacker has come into the game and where bishop takes f6 and instead of capturing uh, the bishop at f6 capablanca castled and with the castle now you can see the attacks right so of course if you move your if you save your bishop uh, but i don't think this bishop um, you can save this the best is for this bishop is to capture the knight but if you say even if you try to move this bishop on say uh, g7 but then rook to f7 check is coming and this bishop will be fall anyways uh, so here on this position queen to g8 was played and so the try a uh, try and so black is trying to double the attack onto the knight and put a more pressure on it but that's really really uh, useless because here at this position uh, rook to f6 rook takes the f6 and all of the sudden uh, black pieces are going into shattered right so uh, so the black's idea of moving the king onto the f8 position is now um, is now um, is not achievable anymore because uh, the pawn at f7 is undefended because uh, because there are two attackers so rook to f8 was played and now rook a to f1 so white is trying to put more pressure onto this uh, pawn so to save this knight to d8 uh, is knight to d8 was played so friends if you have a look at this position uh, all of the blacks focus is to defend the pawn at f7 because uh, this is the weakest at the moment and white is uh, trying to set up his all of his pieces at the moment and uh, attacking with all force although with the queen down it's really no um, uh, white is ha ha having an upper hand so here in this position b4 was played so the here idea is to uh, generate some activity onto the queen side where queen to g7 was played yeah. and then h4 h4 because now you want to free up this bishop uh, so you need a defender for the knight uh, now uh, king to e8 was played and then b5 
B5 because you uh, you really expect uh, now B6 is coming which uh, which was played B6 and now and this was kind of a trap because now you will not be able to defend this uh, pawn at d5 now the bishop will move on to e2 and then e3 and then will attack on uh, on um, d5 pawn and you may will not be able to uh, push the pawn from the c file and defend it uh, but anyways going back to the game here as i said bishop to e2 was played and now knight to e6 so uh, black's idea is to uh, exchange this powerful knight but bishop to e2 was played and here knight takes g5 where bishop takes g5 so capable and guy has really given up another material of course it's not a material where bishop takes g5 and now that I think this bishop here at this position is more lethal than the knight uh, anyways uh, queen to h7 again was played so friends have a look black has three main pieces on the board three powerful pieces on the board but they're doing nothing that is why queen to h7 was played because black is now trying to move the queen onto uh, d3 or d2 and generate some activity uh, from this from these squares uh, but I think that's too late now bishop to d5 was played and now if you try to calculate it that's uh, uh, first of all, uh, queen to d3 was played, and now there's a force move made in uh, in in x4 move. So pause the video and try to find out the winning moves. So uh, le ready? Let's see. Bishop to c6 for check, and uh, here at this position in the game, um, black has resigned it. But anyways, if you try to move uh, the uh, the pieces, say for example, you try to move it to king to d8 but then rook to f7 check and as soon as you move the king to c8 uh, then rook takes f8 check uh, rook takes f8 and then rook takes f8 check and mate so friends let me know how you like this uh, game from uh, kp blanca uh, the queen sacrifices are always uh, amazing uh, to watch <coughs> do like my this video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe it for further videos. Take care. Bye-bye.